。好，我到第十五條啦，就想講翻咧個實驗嘅結果嘅。咁啊，頭先第十四條咧冇刻意去講嘅，因為咧嗰條都冇話誒個結果要點樣處理。但係第十五條就關事啦，咁所以咧一定要講一講咧，究竟個 I V 咧係啲咩嘢？咁成個實驗啦，我哋話啦，擺個 leaf tissue 啦喺個紅色嘅墨水嗰處，俾五個鐘佢。咁由於呢五個鐘入面呢，棵植物係會面對住一個失水㗎嘛，咁自不然啊就會產生一個蒸騰牽引力呢，就會將呢啲紅色嘅墨水呢，從住個 shoot 呢去吸上去㗎啦。咁跟住啦，五個鐘之後呢，其實我哋就係要將我哋呢個 shoot 啦嘅環切面呢，去切下切下，就由頂個樹開始切。直至到我哋見到呢個紅色墨水為止，到最後尾呢，我哋就量度返究竟仲有幾長嘅徑響樹呢？咁可能大家都仲未知嘅，咩叫做 length of the remaining shoot 呢？其實啦，就望一望左下角啦，咁我就將個棵植物呢擺咗喺兩個唔同嘅環境底下。第一個 set up 呢，就係較為暗嘅環境，第二個 set up 呢，就係較為光嘅環境。咁起碼大家喺 transpiration 嗰課你大約學過下㗎。暗啲嘅情況底下呢，其實個吸水呢係慢一啲㗎嘛。咁但係相對上啦，喺光嘅情況底下呢，咁佢吸水應該係快一啲㗎嘛，因為佢個失水快嘛，失水快吸水咪快咯，係咪？咁五個鐘之後咯，就話啦，由個頂嗰樹開始吸，咁啊斬斬斬斬斬斬到呢度啦，係咪就見到呢個紅色墨水啦？咁我哋就喺呢度呢，就停啦，跟住呢，就量度下呢一個長度呢，究竟有幾長啦？跟住啦，喺第二支呢，由於佢吸水吸得快㗎嘛，可能一斬第一下，咦，已經見到啲紅色咯喎。跟住啦，就量到下呢一個長度啦。咁所以啦，你大約會知一道呢，呃、就係、是、切咗出嚟越係長嘅 remaining shoot 呢，就代表住嗰棵植物呢，吸水速度亦都係越快，亦都能夠顯示得到呢，嗰棵植物失水嘅速度呢，應該都係快嘅。咁而家題目係問我哋啦，喺乜嘢嘅情況底下，我哋剩餘嘅 shoot 呢，嘅長度係最長嘅？咁即係話啦，我哋呢將要去揾嘅呢，就應該係一啲環境因素，係令到個 water loss 呢係好快嘅。咁所以答案呢就係 A 啦，又熱又光嘅情況。咁去到 B、C、D 呢，硬係爭少少嘅。B 呢就係而家，但係濕度好高，濕度高呢其實就會令到呢嗰個失水呢係會慢咗嘅。C 呢就係好光嘅，不過就好凍，凍嘅時候啦，失水呢又係會慢咗。但係舉一反三呢，你就要明喎。今次呢，我就問你個 remaining shoot 係最長啫。咁如果我下次係問你個 remaining shoot 係要最短嘅話啦，咁即係話我哋而家將要揾嘅呢係一個 transpiration 最慢最慢嘅情況。咁自不然啦，我哋呢就反而咯要揀返 D 先嘅答案咯喎。Question 15 is about the result of the experiment. In question 14, I did not explain the measurement in details, so I need to clarify the IV in this investigation now. So the whole setup is that we put the leaf tissue in the beaker of the red color solution, and after five hours, the plant will experience the water loss, and then there was transpiration pool generated help the plants to absorb water along the xylem vessel. So after five hours, we shall cut the cross section of the shoot. Starting from the top until the red color appear in the cut section, and finally we measure the length of the remaining shoot. So that's why the IV will be the length of the remaining shoot. So actually, what does it mean? So let's take a look at the left bottom corner. Leafy shoot one in the dim light situation, and leafy shoot two in the bright light situation. So in the dim light situation, as we learn from the textbook, we know that the water loss will be slow, and also the water absorption will be slow. And in the bright light situation, the water loss is very high, so that's why the plant can absorb the water very very quickly. And after five hours. We cut the cross section of the shoot starting from the top until the red color appear, and then measure the length of the remaining shoot. So we also cut the leafy shoot and then cut, cut, and then we see the red color, and then measure the length of the remaining shoot. So we can see that in the bright light situation, the remaining leafy shoot will be longer. So what does the result imply? It means that the longer the remaining leafy shoot. The higher the rate of water absorption is, so that means the rate of transpiration is also higher. In question fifteen, is asking the length of the remaining shoot will be the longest if the experiment is conducted in the following situation. So that means if we are looking forward to the longest remaining leafy shoot, actually we are looking for the environment increasing the rate of transpiration. So that's why the answer is A. 
hot and bright condition, the stomata will open wider, and the evaporation of the water will also be faster. But for the options B, C, D, we can know that, and for the option B, the human condition will lower the rate of transpiration, and then that's why it's wrong. And for the option C, although it is bright, it is cold, and for the low temperature, it will lower the rate of transpiration, so that's why C is wrong. And for option D, cold and humid, both of the situation will lower the rate of transpiration, so that's why D is also wrong.